What's going on guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna to be teaching you how to track someone's head and keep it in the center of the frame inside Resolve 16 with no plugins required. Let's get into it. Hey, if you guys are new here, my name is Josh Haynes. I'm a freelance filmmaker and I love teaching you guys and helping you out. I drop weekly videos, so if you have not already, click that subscribe button and tag along. Today I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to track something and keep it in the center of the frame or wherever you want it to be and lock it in that place and everything else move. Let's jump inside Resolve and we'll go from there. So you guys can see I chopped these clips together just to show this effect and really showcase what you can do with different angles, different focal lengths. I do recommend not doing it all the time and not overusing it. I would just sprinkle it in every once in a while, the same as the parallax effect that we did not too long ago. If you guys haven't seen that video, I'll link it in the uh, cards above. But I would use this effect sparingly. To accomplish this effect, it's really not as hard as you think it is. The first thing we gotta do is find a video clip we like. We're gonna use this video clip right here because I think it's one of the coolest ones out of all of them that I have. Disclaimer, I did not shoot any of this. This is all royalty free stock footage that I downloaded for this video. What we're gonna do is we're gonna drag the video clip down into our timeline. We are gonna hover on top of it and we're gonna go inside the fusion tab. Once you're inside the fusion tab, I'm gonna highlight both of these, move it down here just so I can see a little bit better. Make this a little bit bigger. That should be fine right there. I'm gonna get right to the first frame so I don't have to worry about that later. I'm gonna click on media N1 and I am gonna hit shift space bar and I am gonna look for a planar tracker. We're gonna add that and it's already connected there. If it's not connected and it's just sitting up here, let me reconnect those so you can see. You can just hold shift and your left mouse button at the same time, bring it in, it'll highlight blue, let go, and it's locked in. With a planar tracker selected, we're gonna hit shift spacebar again, and we are gonna look for a transform node. We're gonna add that. We're gonna move it over here and forget about that for a second. So we're gonna click on the planar tracker. We are gonna go up here, make sure track is selected. We're gonna do hybrid point area, and we're just gonna go with translation. We're not really doing a parallax effect or anything. She's just coming towards the camera, so we're gonna keep it as simple as possible. The next thing we do is go up here to our cursor pin, and we are just gonna draw roughly around her face. It doesn't have to be perfect. That should do right there. We're gonna go over here to operation mode. We're gonna hit set to lock in a reference time frame at 6.0, 6.0 right there. We're gonna make sure everything's good, and we are gonna hit track, and hopefully, it will track it the best it can and it will work beautifully. So after we have this tracked and our information is good, ready to go, all our keyframes look good, we're gonna go over here to operation mode again. We're gonna scroll down to steady instead. And what it will do now is it will keep her face locked in that position right there. Now I know what you're thinking, What's going on up here in the corners? It's keeping her face locked there so all this other stuff is moving to compensate for that. Bonus tip, if you are shooting for something like this and you know you're gonna be doing this effect, I would give more than enough headroom. I would try to keep the center of whatever you're doing in the center of your frame so you have the most play and the most room around it. This clearly was not shot for this, but it works okay. So the easiest way to fix this is we're gonna go down here to the transform node that we had selected earlier, and we're just gonna size this mug up. And I am gonna move her kind of more to the center, making sure I don't cut it off. You kind of gotta make sure when you're scrubbing through that the frame is not coming in and out. We're gonna jump back over here into the edit tab. We're gonna let it render out. Yeah, that looks absolutely killer. I've seen this effect on Skecher commercials, on the Beats headphones commercials. It's this really cool effect that pushes things and draws your attention to a certain part in the frame. 
There you go guys, just a real simple tutorial to keep something inside the center of the frame. It works really well if you're trying to showcase a product or maybe you've got a horror film and you've got someone chasing the camera. I know they did that in the movie It and it is just this creepy off-putting weirdness to it. I hope you guys take this information and put it towards one of your projects and something you're working on. Tag me on Instagram, Twitter. I'd love to see it. I'd love to check out your work. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Uh, drop a comment below. Some new videos you want to see coming out. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already with the bell notification on so you don't miss any of my new videos. I'm the Iron Giant. You guys are amazing. I'm out.